All right, Bob Chick here at the Pittsburgh Pro. It's Mannion Country, and we're here with one of the best, the best of all time when it comes to records, the Blade, Dexter Jackson. What's up, Dex? Um, nothing much, man. Just here having fun, as, you know, like we do every year. You know, I love coming to uh, Pittsburgh, even though I'm a Cowboy fan. Yeah, me too. You know, I don't like Steelers, yeah. but, you know, I still love coming to the city, though. Well, Dex, always great catching up with you here, and we haven't caught up with you in a little while. So uh, you've been busy, obviously, traveling, doing the business of bodybuilding, as always. Uh, so you've been all over the world, of course, traveling around, representing Ultimate Nutrition and, of course, the IFBB, the IFBB and, and all that good stuff. Um, bring me up to speed, Dex. What's new? Um, nothing much, man. It's just been nice to be able to have a break and not do all the earlier shows in a year and just train for the Olympia. Yeah. So things are going really well. Um, just amazed on how I can stay in focus and stay in good shape on all season. This is the best shape I've ever been in all season. At this, at this weight. It's the biggest I've ever been and the best shape I've ever been. So, well, looking you, for... You took my question out. I was going to actually ask you, uh, you're usually pretty busy throughout the year. Uh, we usually see on an Arnold stage or two. A lot of people, I think, were surprised when they didn't see your name on the, on the Arnold's list. Uh, but you got a different strategy this year. Different strategy, man. Just want to concentrate on Olympia this year, you know, and see what I can do. I've never... I, can, I mean, it's probably been 10 years since I've been able to just take... skip everything and just do an Olympia. It's been 10 years since I've been able to do that. So, I just want to see what can happen now since me and George have been together and see how, you know, see what happens. Who's the number one contender to uh, Phil Heath in his title? Me. Who else? <laughs> well, there's another guy out there who thought he had that right. That's our good buddy, Sean Roden. Uh, a lot of people having you guys switch at the Olympia. I know that didn't sit too well with you, uh, but does, obviously your track record speaks for itself. Uh, Sean Roden does obviously have the years you have in it, but he did take second place. To Phil Heath. So who's the number one contender? Well, I beat Sean, what, five times after that I, and on the tour? So, you know, one to five, I'll take the five. <laughs> that kind of says a whole lot right there, Dex. So, uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, but no, nah, I'm just messing around. You know, it, it can go in the way between. Me and Sean always beat each other. You know what I'm saying? So it can go in the way between the two of us. But he's having a whole, he's done that whole year off thing. I'm doing a whole year off thing this time. Right. So, so you're going to, you know, just... You know, I don't like to talk trash. You know, I don't talk shit. But. Yeah, talk some trash, Dex. Come on, man. Let's do it. No trash talking. All right. But I'm, I'm, it's, it's going to be a different ball game this year, and I'm really hoping to shake up something this year. Well, you're the only other guy in the stage other than Phil with an Olympia victory, and obviously that's in short supply these days. Uh, you're the last of well, the old guard when it comes to that. Um, but, Dex, you don't seem to be slowing down, man. The physique just seems to be getting better. Uh, age certainly doesn't seem to be a factor for you. So um, are there improvements to make at this time, or is this purely just kind of – you know, keeping it even until, you know, is it all in that last four weeks of conditioning for you? Well, there's always room for improvement. You know, when I look in the mirror, that's what I see. I don't see what everybody else say. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, oh, man, you're great. You're just you're unbeatable. I don't see that. And that's what motivates me for all these years because when I look in the mirror, I always see where I can make improvements. So I'm just working on, you know, different things. And like I said, having a whole year off, my body's going to react like crazy, you know, because it's fresh. It's going to be fresh around that time. So it's just, it, you know, I'm just really looking forward to the end of the year and doing Olympia. Thanks. Clearly there's, I mean, listen, it's not like you need motivation at this point in your career. I mean, obviously you want another Olympia title. Uh, you still make a great living out of, out of the sport, like you've said many times. Show me a job that pays me to do what I do, and I'll take it. Uh, so this is still, you know, paying off pretty handsomely for you. Um, is there any additional motivation this year? Now, Phil, obviously, as we know, has got six. Looking to tie Arnold with number seven, is there any additional motivation to try to take the champ out and keep him from that record and get yourself another sand out? No, nah, that's, you know, I don't, I, all I do is worry about myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't go on p people's pages looking at what right. they're doing, what they got going on. I'm trying to better myself from year to year. As long as I can beat what I brought in last year or even 2015 where I should have beat Phil, you know what I'm saying? Then as long as I can beat that, that's all that matters to me. And the rest is in the judge's hands. I can't control anything else other than that. Well, that kind of answers another question, though. Obviously, uh, that question being, do you think you have the tools to take out Phil Heath? And clearly, you think you do. Of course, I got the tools to take him out. I think I'm the only one match up as well. Um, you know, Kai was always second to him, but Kai never matched up. You know, I, I, I match up a lot better than, I, than Kai do. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. Now, Phil, 100, 100%, it's hard for anybody to beat him. Right. But it feels off any. It can be beat, and I haven't seen that 100% feel. I mean, he's a little better last year, right. but it wasn't. And, and, and to be true, I mean, he has come in off. I mean, listen, that door has been open. Like I say, does 100% Dexter Jackson really put that question in that judge's mind of, all right, we got a fight over here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 
because of what, what happened in 2015. And you got and you got a whole bunch of people uh, that thought that maybe could have gone your way. Yes, exactly, exactly. Well, this is going to be a good one this year, Dex. Like I say, we are in uh, May. Obviously, as most people know, at the Pittsburgh Pro. Uh, June, July, and August, it's go time now, man. It's go time, baby. It's been go time for me for him since I went out to L.A. I've been out in L.A. now since March. So it's been go time for me. Yeah, as most people know, you, you pretty much shut it down. And this year, everything's going into the Olympia basket. Like I say, you're in L.A. training with Charles, Already. doing your thing. George Ferris still in your corner. Uh, we know George has always been fighting his own battle these days, but he, he's still there, though. He doesn't slow down, does he? He's a lot better, so you guys are going to be surprised. George will beat whatever it is coming his way. Yeah, With the grace of God, trust me, he is doing ten times better than he was. Yeah, you don't bet against George. This, this guy's cheated death a few times, so like I say, he, he'll, he'll come out again the victor on that one. We know that, so... Well, Dex, great catching up with you, man. Looking forward to seeing you throughout from now. And obviously, we're going to see you tonight on stage. Uh, you know, hey, we're going to get a little testy up there. We got, you got Phil up there. You got Big Rami. Uh, you got a couple of the boys up there. So yeah. you're going to see a little Olympia preview? Nah, because this is just for, for the fans. You know, nobody, everybody remember winning. Don't nobody remember guest posing. <laughs> <laughs> no truer words spoken. Catching up with the champ, the Blade, Dexter Jackson, coming soon to an Olympia stage near you. Yes, sir. <laughs>